Hello, Divine Sunshine. This is Divine Sunshine. On my day off, no makeup, hair still up, because I was around the house doing some things, but I was like, I got to come and do my reading, my daily sunshine report for this week, um, for today, rather. Um, so I'm going to start off seeing what the energies are like. Uh, let's see what's in Divine Masculine's clear heart space. Start off with him this time. What's in the Divine Feminine's heart space? These two did pop up. What's in Divine um, Masculine's mind space? And what's in her mind space? Clarified by... I do the clarifiers my hand on it. Instinctively I went for them. Clear. Let me clarify this card very quickly. Thank you. Clarify this one. Oh, I'm going to put that away. You flew on that. Nope. You can't tell me where you're going. I'm just going to let you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And this came out so let's see here all right so all right i just instinctively let them know energy is kind of interesting okay so for the divine masculine in his heart space is love yourself first um your self respect makes you more romantically attractive so we have um this is orphaned is in reverse so right now he no longer feels um, today the energy has changed. I could have believed that this had came out before in one of my readings about him being orphaned. So he's not really feeling orphaned um, today. He doesn't have that sense of being um, alone, like he's been deserted. Um, who knows, maybe the sense of, I read and I seen the video this morning, maybe being around family, being around people has kind of changed his sense I'm feeling like his compass, his whereabouts. But um, right now, he's not got that woe is me feeling. So he's really concentrating on loving himself first. Um, and just really saying, you know, I'm just going to release uh, whatever feelings that I have about this abandonment issues. Or um, feeling that I am uh, alone, uh, putting the... His feelings, or is this a... Yeah, I got mine so I can see. Um, Looking like a little birdie, a woman that's been pulled, put up on a pedestal. Look like it's snowing. Like she's feel like... Um, iced out or uh, fr froze out or uh, freeze um it's a change in that one uh, interesting that's interesting how this vibrations has really has changed since then uh so yeah so he love yourself first uh your your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so um i'm thinking now that he's kind of going more within maybe even on the divine feminist end you might even felt more of a pull or going towards uh, wanting to be with your divine mask, and this pool has, has came. So maybe also this is made this pool has caused him not to feel orphan like you know. I feel like Michael Jackson saying, "You are not alone." So he does not feel like he's alone uh, right now. Um, I like to get some clarifiers to see what's the reason for that. What's causing him not to feel orphan? And had this more change and concentrating on self. Two cards did come out. So right now he does not feel that it's a woman holding the coins. Uh, so some woman maybe have been financially have been holding the money financially over him. It's now it's to me it seems like it's giving him a sense of empowerment. Can you explain to me um, better about that? What do you mean by that? 
all tied out up. What are you all tied up about? Oh, interesting. The garden and the gate. So something has not caused him to feel like he is more um, having a sense of freedom. Uh, this garden and the gate is like an opening up to their own garden to maybe open it up to his own emotions. Um, I see two butterflies here. So something is transforming um, for him. Maybe before he had seen, he looked at this person or this woman as a person who had the sense of power and finances and Maybe now he's gotten to the point to say, you know what, you you you're not the boss of me. That's what I'm picking up. You're not the one who's having it. I'm really seeing things for what they are. So the fifth chakra. So he's probably has either communicated or, uh, or you probably now uh, the energy is today. You are which is the what is it? Oh, I ain't got my thing here. Uh. 26 to 27 uh, okay um when i put the date up there today you feel like you really want to communicate maybe it's like i don't like this feeling like i'm all tied up right now uh things uh in emotions uh so to be in garden in the gate you're really looking for your freedom you know like out of this into another situation um, you're going to really have the Archangel Gabriel with fifth chakra, which is right there. Uh, you got your throat. Yeah, your throat. So you're going to be able to communicate this. Archangel Raphael, which is in your heart. You're going to be able to communicate things that are in your heart. Um, can I get an understanding of who is this woman? Clear. Let me ask this. Let me see if I have a. These is not the ones that tell me. Here you go. These are the ones. Who is this woman? I don't want to guesstimate on this. Clear. Who is this woman? That holds the coins. A fool. So whoever this is, is a foolish woman maybe a foolish woman that thought that he they had control over him can i get a little bit more clarification on that queen of fire whoever it is is i would say this is a fire sign fool is really new beginnings Can you, cards, can you tell me a little bit more specifically, is this a karmic or is this the actual divine feminine? You got four of earth and nine of earth. Both of these cards are definitely somebody who is very into earth is materialism. So somebody is very materialistic. They're really grounded and rooted in it. But whatever's going on with him, he's thinking that there's the end of a cycle to this person. Okay, 
Oh, two, 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 two. Okay. Can you give me a little bit more information about this person? I want to know, is this the feminine or is this a fool to me would seem like? You wouldn't call a divine feminine a fool. So I'm believing that this more so is a karmic person. Oddly enough. Okay, if that is true, show that card again. I seen something. Empress card. Looks like you trying to talk to me. Okay. All right, let's go through this script again. I'm not asked for you to be here. Are yeah, you showing something? Okay. So in the Divine Masters, heart space is love yourself first. So now he is turning the attention onto himself. Before he felt abandoned and alone, orphaned. Some of this feelings has been in, because of how he had placed the divine feminine up on the pedestal. He felt like he left her out in the cold. Those feelings he had no longer feels. You said the woman holding a coin. So this person holds everything. As far as your prosperity, your abundance, everything. This came in reverse. So right now. You're not focused in on this woman. However, with this woman, you felt that you were all tied. Your energies is that you felt like you was all tied up emotionally with this person. Okay. This person emotionally or emotionally... You got the guard in the gate, which means you have felt for a while that you have been held behind the gate. And now you see the garden there, which is opening and blossoming up to new things. You felt that you had to, you feel like you had to communicate your feelings of what is in your heart. So right now, it seems like by you turning in within yourself, it has now given you courage to look at things much differently. So this work with me as I unfold this. So now, right now, you're in the space right now where you do not feel orphaned. You're no longer looking to this woman to be uh, the source of your prosperity and your abundance. This is what you're working on now. Because now you felt emotionally tied up to this person. This is something that you don't like. You're looking for freedom, how to get out into this garden, which is understanding to me you spiritually walking in the garden, looking at some things, look at how things blossom and causing this transformation. So in order for you to do that, you're probably now loving yourself first. You're communicating that out outwardly into the physical and you communicate that to yourself within especially if you're trying to love yourself first because right now you get in touch with the heart your heart chakra which is opening you feel the heart chakra opening now now i asked about who was this person right now this has been sparked by somebody who is of your emotions would be a fool, which you got zero, which is starting back over again, which is new beginnings. You have, uh, this also can involve a person who is a queen of fire. This goes two ways. This could be a fire sign that's doing this, but this queen of heart means, uh, queen of fire means this is uh, due to this woman or this feminine. She has caused you to create action you're going it's going to cause you to create some type of action today uh in this action uh it's going to cause action for you in the material because also this material is playing a very big part because you're holding this coin 
So you're going to get grounded and rooted into some things earthly, into some material things that's happening uh, with this. Um, you're looking at emotionally at what can you offer, especially into the world. So your focus is going to be into yourself, but also how you connect with the world. You're looking at the nine of earth, which to me is you're coming to an end of a cycle, especially when you talk about this, the way of where you're viewing the world. Um, this person has a mask on and has a small plant that is a, a sprouting. So right now, out of creating the ending of something, create something new. And you have this mask on, uh, which to me is a little kind of troublesome, especially about your emotions. But you are ready to end a cycle. And it's probably ending the cycle of wearing this mask. And sprouting and becoming and rebirthing into something new. It's very small. It's just starting. It's like we take a baby steps. Um, again, the big person who's playing a part of this is the Empress card, which we know the Empress card is the Divine Feminine. So this is all sparked due to her uh, influence or her being the inspiration for all this change that's going on. Okay. Um... Hmm. Whatever it is with this uh, divine feminine, uh, before it might have made you, he had feel uh, maybe even abandoned by some things. Maybe you had stopped doing or giving to him, uh, and so now it's causing him to kind of really take some introspection of some things. So whatever is going on today is really sparked by inspiration of how he is viewing the feminine and um how he is relating to the how you're relating to the world divine masculine uh children is becoming a very big part of this this is on your mind this goes several ways uh this could be your physical children uh in the world this can also be uh your inner child yours and the divine feminines you are uh, how you doing and relating so again when i see this card we have several things that's in play which is uh the divine masculine in his loyalty uh how he masked his mastery of things how he has authority over things especially he's got orange on in this so uh that's really your sacral um into that so your intimacy how you relate to others and how you emotionally you uh and those things are in your analytical mind because this is him as divine masculine and that's what he has uh having a real good leash on things and that's what you're dealing with and then also um in your emotional how you nurture things in your emotional self um and so um this is causing um it's affecting your love life um very much so uh, to the point that uh, I'm thinking that it's helping you with this creating this love for yourself today. Uh, it's, yeah, I keep on hearing the word immaturity. So it's it, children to me is also talking about growing up and growth and how you have this sense of maturity as well. So all these factors pl uh, are in play and you pretty much getting back in touch with your inner child or you dealing with this physical child. Um, is also playing a very major part. There is some chaos going on. So now if you have a physical child, some chaos and some conflict is going on with this. As far as how you're rearing the child, how you're nurturing the child, how you're disciplining the child, how you're showing mastery over the child, your loyalty to it. Uh, that is an issue um, that's going on currently. Uh, and that could be also within you having this battle of really trying to deal with some inner child issues too. Uh, with this is being directed by your higher power. So I really want to say in some ways I get the fork of the road feeling that if you are having issues with your child physically divine masculine, it is purely due to, uh, it's a lesson that needs to be learned through that. Okay, and so uh, higher power is bringing like divine intervention 
is bringing this in to help you to kind of grow a little bit more and some things in your as an inner child also that you have not resolved and so this is another way of how you could do this so maybe through your child your interaction with your child your relationship with your physical children that you have uh is helping you mirror back into your inner child into your soul some things that you got to kind of work on you know say well i thought i kind of conquered that and it's like no you know because sometimes you know just like i hear my mother say oh my god when i look at you i can see a lot of where that gene came from it just didn't pop out of the sky it's just like oh now i see what she get it from it's really coming from me i'm thinking it's something she didn't picked up to herself and she's like oh okay no that's that's me that's my gene so i apologize on that to say that was just something you just came out the blue and said oh she like a lot of times she said oh yeah i can hear sunshine that was pop out my mouth that was me actually so it's some things that you probably have that mirror moment that you see in your children or in your inner child that you say okay yeah it's a lesson that needs to be learned let me sit back let me kind of think so be today a little bit more attentive when you're dealing with your children just like when i'm in the classroom with my students um you know a lot of times they bring me lessons and i'm like oh okay i get it i get it so this is one uh, and then again, this brings right on into it because it's going to help you to do this treasure island, which is a self discovery of yourself as well. And so you are really going to discover some things by dealing with this child today, either a physical child or either, um, the child in your inner child. Okay. Uh, you're going to slowly get it. This is where I'll be, but it's going to be slow and steady. Once you get it, you like, I got it. And especially it's going to help you something in your emotional things. They kind of help you, which is a nine, which is going to help to bring an end of a cycle or something that keeps on reoccurring within you. Okay. Um, let's look at, I don't need any clarifiers on top of that because I got that. Uh, release your ex. Oh, wait a second. I had two cards. I only pulled one. Wait a second. Okay. I'm going to put this way. Yeah, I'll put it right on this one because I think that goes with that one. Okay, let's see. Which one? Well, can you clarify that one for me, please? No, I don't feel like no definites. Okay, Divine Feminine. So right now at this point, you feel like you need to release your ex. This release your ex can go in several ways. Excuse me. Let me give you something. This release your ex could go in several ways, okay? Releasing your ex could be like thoughts, things that you know are habits that you need to X out, or it could just be a physical also X a person that you need to kind of release on that. Um, I got this on paper here, so some of you all might get to the point that you might want to release your ex uh, doing some kind of via communication, either written, uh, email, or uh, text, something like that. Um, you're going to feel like because this is really burdening you at this point, wherever there's thoughts or things that's going on. Some of them might get a third thing saying you might want to release your ex by simply maybe writing a letter. Maybe say, I don't want to call that joker because I don't want to wake up nothing. It was over, it's over, and I don't really want to pick up no pen and paper. Uh, or really pick up the phone or see him in person to do this. So you might want to do an exercise in which you write it down and then you burn it and you release it as well. That's one way to do that um, because really it looks like your wings are not really nice and fluffy and white like they used to. Your wings have even gotten kind of burdened by it. So your divinity is getting really weighed down by these thoughts of whatever's happening with your ex that you got to kind of release and you got to clear your energy um, by doing this, like I say, things X could be things that you have X out that no longer uh, are um, prudent or deserving to be in your life still or take up space. And so you're really at this point that you want to do that. Why? Because you feel blessed at this point. So you being blessed, uh, you knowing within yourself, it's like I got to get rid of some things because this is contradictory. This is like an oxymoron. Two things can't occupy the same space at the same time and so this is one way in which you're able to do this is uh especially for this blessed feeling is already pushing you and uh and telling you and kind of initiate uh, uh kind of initiating for you to create this change 
within you. Uh, the next thing you had here was in your heart space was you deserve love. Um, here, so you are lovable. Okay, not yeah, yeah. This heart space is this one. This is stout. Okay, so you poise. So right now you're getting really confidence in really knowing that you know what I, I really I deserve love. You are getting to the point that I believe that you're now using different strategies, um, in order to make this happen. You're pointing your arrow in a different direction. The water and your emotions. You're going up against what your emotions are currently going. Although they're very strong, but you're saying, no, uh, I deserve love. So maybe some things that you have constantly been thinking, just like I say, release your ex, getting rid of some things, uh, which is your your thought process. Those things could be exed out that need to go. You really find it within yourself that if I really deserve love, everything else has got to line up like that. And so you have your um, angels and guys, they're really there to support you, talk to you. Uh, telling you what things you need to do uh, and I want to say all of this is pretty much I got a lot of moon influence for you divine feminine so your intuition and your awareness today is really being sparked by some of the moon activity that happened here with the full moon which has caused the change and um, with the winter solstice um, thing that we just had and so this with that moon and that influencing and the power and the energies that it brought along is really creating you to say, I got to kind of get rid of some things. I got to really point my thought process and my emotions in a different uh, way. I'm getting focused rather in a different direction that's opposite than my current waters, uh, which is your emotions that are going in order for me to get this new love that I'm looking for. Okay. And so now you have here in your thoughts is make the effort in reverse uh great love is worth uh taking the steps you guided to take and uh, i'm gonna say right now at this point you're not really feeling like making any kind of efforts it's just like really saying you know let me get the game plan together uh as far as where i'm going this is probably this way uh because i turned all the cards didn't i Okay, well, okay, let's leave it that way. Um, let me um, just really deal with what I have, okay? And it's not saying you don't want to make the effort. It's just like, you know, it's like right now, let me get my stuff together. And we're pretty much mirroring each other, just like the Divine Master said he needs to love himself first. You're saying the same thing, too. Just like, you know, I know that's what I want. I know I deserve love. So the real overall things for both of you all is knowing that you deserve love. Love is the most highest power right now. And that's what you all are pretty much focusing in on. Uh, I want to say with him, it's more inside work. You are doing more so outside work, uh, releasing the X. You're doing some more things that away uh out of work he's doing inner work you're doing out of work um so you're saying right now i don't want to make the effort let me just kind of you know sit on the bench watch the plays kind of talk to the coach for a little while you know you're in the person to the divine your angels meditate and see you know what's my next step i don't want to go out here all half cocky and don't know where i'm going uh so you gotta make the effort uh clean it up with this clean it up is in reverse make the effort uh i'm saying right now to me i'm getting the word they're saying you got to kind of right now today you take a time out to just to organize your thoughts your feelings and your intent uh in your life world and affairs uh before you even go ahead and oh i forgot the little shoe there um before you go ahead and really make that effort just like wait a second let me i'm i ain't feeling like cleaning up nothing let me just kind of really get focused and get my game plan together, period. Okay, and out to sea, to be out to sea with the emotion means I'm just floating, just bobbing along. Just like they said today, they find a bag of Doritos in the ocean. They had been floating along in the ocean for 40 years. It was there for since 1979, and it had just been floating out there on the sea. So right now, you ain't not like that bag of Doritos. You're like, nah, I got a sense of purpose because when you got that out to sea, it's just like I'm just sailing, but I just don't know where I'm flowing. Today, you got like a sense of purpose, like, no, we ain't going to let twirl the little, uh, the, 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 he a compass thing at the end, saying northeast, south, and west. 
And then, excuse me, wherever a point, that's where we're going to go to. No, we ain't doing the bottle game where you flipping around and then whoever it is, that's who you kiss. You know, say, no, we're not playing that. I definitely know who I want to kiss at this party. Uh, it's just right now, I'm just like, I'm just sitting strategizing, watching this everybody play. You know, seeing what mistakes they make, you know, so when it's my turn, what not to do. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. Uh, Unfinished Biz Symphony came in uh, reverse. Again, uh, this is the opposite. Right now, I feel very strong with the Divine Feminine say It's not no Unfinished Symphony. My thing is, is that I'm really concentrating on what's my next notes that I need to write and compose in this unisoul um, journey. Uh, and so it's not, uh, my goal is to finish the symphony, not for it to keep on remaining and be unfinished. Okay. So that is that. Uh, can I get the overall energies? Clear. What's the overall energies for, uh, the divine masculine and what's the overall energies for the divine feminine? Okay. Got two of them. Okay, I don't read these in reverse. It is what it is. Okay, so, um, right now, it's, it's several things going on. The overall theme for you is, uh, and that's funny, it came here, separation. I'm getting several scenarios, so we're just going to play through all of them. Okay, for the separation card that came out, especially it's got the social media on it. Um, some of you divine masculines today might feel like you need to take a time out for being on social media. Social media has a way through its energies, and I can see a lot of you all say, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, keeps on feeding the ego. It keeps on feeding our fears. It keeps on feeding the anxiety um, that's happening there. So I would say today, divine masculine, if you can... Uh, take a kind of like a little cleanse, a little sabbatical away from uh, social media. Second group of uh, Divine Mask, and I'm seeing some of you all are going on here and you're watching your Divine. I've heard people, I don't know if mine is doing that, but you didn't looked on social media, you didn't looked on your Divine uh, Feminine social media page, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all that stuff. You didn't looked on there and you didn't seen some stuff. Okay, uh, it's seeing some stuff, any throw mixed signals to you didn't cause you some things like, oh my God, the separation don't arrive. I don't know. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's she saying? I don't know. You know, so uh, that's causing the issue. Um, and then in loving yourself first, it's, it's to me, it wants to say also separation. This Facebook to me is also how you present yourself to the world. And how, you know, you got your your Facebook facade of yourself, your ego. Yeah, you know, I'm doing this, deuces, and taking pictures, and my life is grand, and taking a little test, and saying stuff, you know, those name tests that have you, like, in 2019, you're going to be married with children, got money, taking vacations. You know, that's another facade that you're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be me in 2019. And at the same time, behind closed doors, you depressed. Say hell no, nah, that ain't ever gonna happen to me. And so you know, you got two different uh, uh, PR your your image that you're portraying on here, and you're gonna have to find yourself kind of separating from that idea. Okay, uh, that's another thing that I'm picking up. It's like if you're gonna love yourself first, you gotta really find your truth. You gotta be honest to your truth, to your integrity of who you are. Uh, in doing that. God is a sensuality. Again, this is fork in the row. I get several things that goes on with this. Uh, this could also be um, sensuality as far as, um, you know, how you're seeing the divine feminine. Uh, really coming into your emotional self and just becoming vulnerable and finding that there is power and empowerment in getting in touch with your uh your your feminine side, your emotional side, uh, that's a great thing, you know, because, you know, you breaking yourself down and you becoming vulnerable. That could be sexy 
as well, but your sensuality, which is mean the essence of you emotionally, uh, just getting in touch with this, like I said, just the nakedness of you, the raw, naked truth of who you are, uh, and becoming empowered with that. That's how you really are truly loving yourself first. So I'm saying again, especially with this overall thing, separation, uh, those things, uh, keep those in mind today as your overarching theme as well. Uh, for the divine feminine, your thing is God of battle. So right now you got to become a warrior, especially when you talk about releasing this ex. You know, we have the tendency, anybody, you could be female or male, that we want to kind of talk ourselves out of things. Well, you know, this ain't right time. Uh, it's Christmas time. It's the holidays. Uh, I don't want to start off anybody's new year like this. Uh, you know, I wait until next year to talk to them or do whatever. And, you know, that would be much better. I don't want to start their new, Year, new year off with the, uh, a, on a bad note. Okay, I deserve love. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's the things I didn't did in the past that, wasn't right and you know i gotta kind of work on that before i really truly get love i think about viola davis and viola davis said that once before she was bad her husband uh one thing she thought that she wasn't going to uh meet her husband was holding her back as a blockage was because she had student loans and she's like, you know, I just got it. She said, as soon as I see my husband, you know, he said, I just really into you. And I just really like you. And I love you. And I already know right off the bat, you the one. And she's like, you know, she's like, I'm listening to him say, yeah. She's saying, and I'm telling, you know, but I got student loans. And he looked at her and said, what the hell student loans got to do with this? You know, and my aunt, you know, I got bad credit. And he, she, like, he looked at her like, Okay, so what's that got to do with us falling in love? So, you know, we, we find so many things. And like you said, and maybe even with this reverse, we might be talking ourselves out of it by having to make it the effort in reverse. You know, saying, coming up with all these kids, I got to clean up some things. Now, let me just deal with first. I know where I am. I'm not bouncing around, floating off the sea. This time I'm going to do it right. I'm going to have a direction as to where I'm going. Okay, this is fine. As long as you in pause mode and you're doing those things today, but remember you're still in your warrior space, uh, your warrior essence, or in that mode. Even a warrior, when you sit down and they're doing it, and you see them going off the battle, they sit down, they strategize, and I mean they seriously saying, "Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna cross this border. Okay, we're gonna go over the drawbridge. Okay, when we get over the drawbridge, you know we're gonna be hi hiding inside this horse, and when we cross over, then you know somebody gonna yell." Yeah, hooty hoo, and then everybody gonna come out the daggone horse, and then that's how we gonna take over the castle. You know, it is it, it, it's some kind of strategy. They just don't go in there, just ride on in there, and then they like, okay, what, what we doing? We in here now. You know, somebody giving the signal, somebody blowing the horn. Some, you know, it's already planned out and mapped out when they going over there to the other side. So that's the same thing. So we gonna become this warrior like it is, and you know, a lot of times they was crossing battle lines and going over in enemies camp and things like that and we going over there to the divine masculine and whatever kind of situation that we doing to try to get ourselves into union we got to have a strategy so you got to come into some form of action about that and then we got sacred sexuality okay so really what this is really becoming in tune creating that oneness within ourselves to create that manifestation or uh, really get in tune with our bodies, our emotional body, physical body, uh, spiritual body, becoming one with the divine masculine and feminine within ourselves. Uh, that, that this does not have to be also created in the physical space. That would be lovely if that was uh, created in the actual physical space where we are together and we create that stuff and that higher power brings us up higher and it gives us more intuition and more awareness through this coming together of this sacred um, sexuality that we have in here of us coming together. But if not, you know, we can also in the 50 create that space where we come together with our 50 selves and we have that uh, of us coming together intimately. Uh, that's another way of doing it. 
So uh, with that, let me make sure because I want to. Um, but I know that's I'm right. Two, 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 two. Right. It said the majority of people living on Earth at this time have not yet experienced sacred sex in the form that it was designed to be. If you drew this card, it's time to look into the area of your life. Sacred sex is as close as we can get to spirit while in a physical body. It is bridging the gap between heaven and earth while we are here living in a separate state of separation. Okay, and we can crave the feeling of oneness, the unity that comes from merging with spirit. This is why the desire for sex arises when you feel a deep connection with someone. So, again, that's why I say merging, merging those two energies, merging those two energies within yourself. You say you deserve love, you want to make the effort, you got to release this X in order for you to feel blessed and for you to be able to bring that, I call it the merging of the heaven on earth. Um, feeling that's what it is the urge to merge against uh, uh, that thing so you really have an urge to merge within yourself it's like I gotta get some this together uh, and you're doing some of the outward work for it to kind of manifest as well so really in some ways we're both doing inward work uh, in some ways it might be a different route of how we're doing it but we inwardly, so you know, maybe in some ways, yeah, it's inward. It's 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 both. We're doing some work. Uh, some of us a little heavily in one area than the other. Um, yeah, because you want to communicate with that. So yeah, we're doing a lot of introspection today. Let's just put it that way, and start from that way, and it's going to kind of filtrate its way out. Okay. Um. Anything else? I did not pull out that card. That's all right. And what do we have to surrender? And then we're going to leave and stop at that. What do we have to surrender today? Clear. What does the divine masculine have to surrender? What does the divine feminine have to surrender? Thank you. Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation and contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish. So, in loving yourself first, you're going to have to do today, I would say, do a lot of meditation practices uh, throughout the day. Start off with meditation. Uh, you get a point, you get a lunch break or something like that, just take a quick five minutes just breathing. Just like five minutes of doing nothing. And if you say, I can't get five minutes, do two minutes of just nothing. Just sit at the desk and just like, I just two minutes. And just get yourself centered again. Uh, and this is going to help. Especially also meditation, the silence, uh, this inner child, getting this on, in track, especially on track, which is um, nurturing, getting mastery over self, uh, being able to uh, get authority, be loyal to self, you know, um, those be, being your best friend itself. So really, you know, to me, I would say also, if you work with the inner child, you know, become your best friend, be your bestie. You know, if you was a, you were best friends for somebody else, uh, pay attention to how you act towards that person and then turn it on yourself, you know, because sometimes I have to be there. I say, okay, I'm going to be my bestie today. You know, why you feel that way you know anytime you feel kind of down or maybe whatever's happening with this child that you having a physical thing and you all having this kind of tug of war some chaos and conflict that's going on with you kind of go into silence thing and just try to just very quickly you know kind of center yourself whatever say excuse gotta go to the restroom whatever get your composure together breathe get it together and come right on back out to so find you some moments in which you can still silence okay and for the divine feminine your thing today is surrender to the beauty of the natural world taking a relaxing break and spend time in nature replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there that is funny we're both finding something in the stillness okay we both finding some relaxation is is both of us we have to do that and both of them is talking to use the word replenish. So we really kind of find things to kind of recharge ourselves or recharge our battery. So feminines go out and outside, maybe go out for lunch. I know sometimes with me, I'll go out for lunch, 
because uh, I need to kind of get some air, kind of change the scenery, reset myself, replenish myself. And um, that helps to reset my own battery inside. Uh, if you can't go outside, do some work with um, plants, flowers, uh, things of that nature. Listen to, if you can't do that, put some headphones while you're at the, at the desk if they allow you to. Uh, listen to some rain, maybe the rainforest, some trees, things of nature. Uh, that would be very helpful uh, as far as you kind of getting in touch with nature. Okay, I'm not doing any of the higher self things. I didn't bring that out. And so, uh, message from the universe. We're straight. I'm going to stop right here because I want my things. 45 is it. So, um, that is today's reading. I'll be back for the weekend forecast. And I definitely know I'm going to do the weekend because I got a busy, busy weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow about that. What's going to happen uh, with that. Uh, so, um, until next time, and then I might come out of this. Who knows? But if I'm around the house, I might be back again like this. Okay, so until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, namago.